Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snelp. And today I am going to do a quick answer to a quick question. And as far as this goes, the question, it's not really a question, but it goes in into how do you make custom colors for your taskbar and other things. Now, there's a few ways to do this and I'm going to show you both ways. But I recommend the first way and it's almost a guarantee you'll work with the first way. So to do this, what you need to do is I will have a Dropbox link down below and it will link to this. And this is just a whole bunch of files I share with you guys so you can use it. And what you need to go to is Windows 10 color and then go to this. From here, what you need to do is pick your colors and this is the color customization stuff um, use the RGB codes and um, once you find the right color that you want make sure you disabled the color and this is actually what the person wanted as far as their color um, the they gave the RGB that's not the X by the way the second method goes into the registry and with that the one thing I want to mention is if you go too far outside this then you can easily mess up your computer massively and I advise not doing this not because of that but because it sometimes doesn't work Microsoft messed up on their hex codes for their colors and some of the colors work some of the colors don't so the better of the two is just to use this and that way, I mean, you can get the same feel for here and everything. And that way you can actually um, be able to control your stuff a little bit better and know where you're going to get. So with that, if you do want to go through that method, go to start, go and type in REG edit, and then open up that. And with that, what you need to do is go to the... Um, current user software Microsoft the Windows current version themes and personalize if you don't have personalized then right click that and go to key and new and key and name it personalized then what you are going to do here is if you don't have this then what you need to do is go to new and uh, 32 bits and then make sure it's named exactly that then within here, you need to put in a hex value. To get a hex value, I will have a link below, which is linking to this. This gets in great detail on the colors and stuff. You can do the RGB color here, and you can use color stuff. It's up to you which way you want. Again, I would say this first method is far superior. Um, Past that, what you need to do is go into the, um, once you paste the hex color there, you need to go to start settings, personalize color. And down here, if you don't have this, then make sure you just click that to turn on. And down here, you should see actual block. This is your custom block. This is what you just made. And what you need to do is select that, and that will be the color. Again, this is not a foolproof method. The second method, the first method, seems to be foolproof. So I'd say go with the first method if all possible. But if you want to go with the second method for whatever reason, there you go. Again, Microsoft's mess up some of the hex numbers. Um, maybe they'll fix it and it seems like since this is this is actually a hidden feature by the way the uh, this shouldn't be here unless if it was a hidden feature so it seems like Microsoft will actually just add this in later and um, it's just a placeholder for now but anyways as far as that goes 
If you do have any questions or anything, then feel free to leave that in the comment section and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. And if you want to add any more information into this, then feel free to do so. But if you like this video, then please help us grow by going to Patreon and donating there. And also feel free to give us a like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video and have a great day.